What is going on everybody right here with the worst PAX video you've probably ever seen just the most unorganized I didn't know what I was doing and now I'm going to take this Freddy mask off not because I'm pretty sure you can't hear me but because I'm kind of suffocating right <laughs> Alright, so basically the reason my PAX video sucks so bad is because it was my first, like, convention ever. I was mostly just swept away by the whole thing. Not to mention I was in Boston, a city I always wanted to visit ever since I saw The Departed and started listening to Dropkick Murphys because that song shipping up to Boston. It was just the whole thing. I was too excited to photograph and film the whole time, which was very stupid on my part because I figured out on the last day that if I don't, like, photograph and like videotape and just like media the shit out of that place then I don't get another media badge next year so that was like ooh crap I better start doing some stuff so here's my here's actually a video it's like they're all like about 7 to 15 seconds I was like not filming nearly as much as I should have been but here's the first video I think this was like my first day there everyone else's seconds when they were doing a Minecraft meetup and I just went to go check it out because I was also at the location of like the Boston Tea Party where that all went down so it was a super cool thing what is going on guys here i am in boston it's a beautiful ass city freezing my ass off i stupidly didn't bring a jacket i'm too used to southern california way behind me is the meetup going down freaking mango is so damn tall i didn't see that coming give you guys a view of the city i was supposed to be vlogging this whole thing i've been forgetting though because it's just so much freaking fun being here and now i just feel kind of silly talking to my phone in the middle of a field to myself how do people do this and not feel retarded <laughs> so i'm actually just gonna fill up those gaps and what i didn't record and talk about and just catch you guys up here and then just summarize different stuff so there was a lot of things overwatch had crazy amounts of advertisement all over that place like i cannot i cannot wait to get into some overwatch i mean it was there was so much overwatch stuff that it even convinced mouse to start an overwatch channel like it's just there's there was like lamborghinis oh what's that one car called a slingshot, that's what's called. There was an Overwatch Lamborghini, a slingshot, that's both of these in this photo. I'm pretty sure that's a slingshot, not 99 for about 95% sure. And then the monster truck, which was just awesome. They were doing Uber rides all over Boston, like it was like a 45 minute wait for one of them. I didn't actually do it, but one of the guys in my network did. He rode in the Lambo and he said it was awesome, which I pretty sure imagined riding in a Lamborghini decked out with an awesome game skin. Wow, well, that sounds fantastic. The, um, the ARC booth was super awesome too, there, there was just like, there was really cool like streamers commentating the entire thing, there were awesome ass dudes and there was like, just tournaments going down the entire time of PAX obviously, but it was just really cool to see, just survival of the fittest, all these people just getting so, it, just, it was just way too intense, way more intense than it should have been. It was just, it was just super cool, it was like being trapped inside a YouTube video, and of course they had the 26 foot tall T-Rex, which was just awesome, I took like a very short video of on top of it. What is going on guys, right here on top of the freaking T-Rex and Pax, this thing is fucking huge! It looks like on top of a Rex. It's pretty damn awesome, right? Look at that tail, this thing is huge, dude! Yeah, stir up. It was funny too, once I, once I got up in that thing, like, I totally forgot I'm afraid of heights. I haven't been on anything high up in a long time, but as soon as I got to the top and there, you had to just throw your leg over on the saddle, I was like, just suck it up, Nancy. I just like went with it, so everything was fine, obviously. Like, there was little kids getting up on that thing, but if you're afraid of heights and you get up certain, everything just looks, you get so dizzy and shit. So it was like, cause that was pretty funny. I was like, what am I, a giant puss? I can't even hop on a T Rex. Just do it. And I just did it. <laughs> there was also a bunch of other cool things, obviously. Pax was like, this is the main reason I didn't record everything, was I was just so swept away. Like, I apologize, Pax people. I, sh I should just definitely have filmed more, but. I was just in shock, like I highly recommend everybody goes to everyone they can, it'd just be awesome. We could meet each other and stuff too, but they even had cool stuff like this giant keyboard wall that was just lit up with different designs. I just stood there for like 15 minutes trying to think of how the hell they coded that thing. Or like what, what program was used or what the hell kind of witchcraft tomfoolery went into this thing. Not to mention every game that's awesome coming out in the next year that's currently awesome had their own booth, tournaments going everywhere, the whole place. The food was phenomenal. I, mean, I went to town on those burgers. The whole place was just, just super cool. But yeah, of course you get swept away and all the people dressed in cosplay and they're just rocking it, dude. I felt, I felt stupid for not being dressed up. It's such an opportunity. Here's actually a short video I took when it was my, this was actually me right after I found out. It was like, we just like PAX, we had left PAX, came back as it was closing. Cause it was like, we were there all day, like all three days. And, um, and I, I came back and I'm there and everyone's like, yeah, you know, you have to film, you have to document or you don't get another media badge. Like I was like, oh shit, that's terrible. 
So then I'll, I'll, full disclosure, I had a few drinks, so hence the, hence the, the calling PAX people douchebags at the end for that. It was just, I, if you listen to my videos, that's how I talk to friends. Me and Arcade just sling shit at each other constantly. If you're friendly with somebody, you insult them. I, I, I guess it's the horrible excuse I'm using. Right, have one shot day, guys. We just got the PAX. <laughs> What's going on guys? Riot here at PAX. I barely filmed anything and apparently I have to post the video. Otherwise, I'm not allowed to get a YouTuber's pass next time. So here it is. Here's the outside of the building. I hope you guys love it. Look at this shit. Fine ass railings they have. It keeps everyone secure. Over here is the metal detectors. Apparently they detect metal. There you go. Oh shit, I had metal on me. Oh my god. And um... And these are the supporting beams to the building. They're very supportive, more than my ex-girlfriend. So, there they are. Here we have an ashtray, dirty habit, don't do it. And um, right here, an official PAX trash can. He has right. Again, this, this end of this video is only because if I don't do an official vlog, then I'm boned. Here's my buddy Zylo, running by. He jogs by PAX a lot. Yeah. Here's Mouse. How you doing, guys? Yeah, going yeah, so we just got to PAX. It's been a uh -huh. random like, gentleman. We've been here for like 10 hours, guys. I already told them I'm doing a quick <laughs> summary video. <laughs> we can finally get past the lines. Here's some PAX water. Boom! Now you know what that shit looks like. <laughs> so, um, fuck. All right, guys, that wraps up my my experience at PAX. The what? Oh, yeah. Oh, here's Boston. Ooh, it's not the interesting. It's all about PAX, though, right? And we're good. This is for the PAX people. Yeah. Hope this satisfies you. So yeah, that was that was my attempt. That was that was that was my that was pretty crappy, I'm not gonna lie. Not my finest moment right there, but I mean I mean it's just I'm going to if I don't get a meet another media badge, I'll buy the tickets if I have to until they get over it because that is just it's just such a cool place. I'll definitely bring a camera next time too, because my phone was just not losing this shit, I just got it. Of course, Boston was super nice. Also, here's a short video. Look at, like we were all, we were all bowling, and I, I destroyed Mouse and my manager. It was so funny. Then Mouse just being cheeky here is, I'll take a slow, steady shot, and then it did to it. Sorry, I'm never even competitive. I'm just not usually good at things. So then winning was like even more funny. <laughs> And then here's a video actually, they had a four corner air hockey table, that's my manager on the right and mouse on the left. And I got out first, that was, I, I, I don't know what happened. The sudden death between mouse and Alex. Mouse has one life left, Alex has three. It's going down, Alex hits the left ball. Mouse responds with a block, Alex almost scores on himself. Oh my god, mouse goes in with a strong offense, Alex with a strong defense. Alex scooped the ball to the middle, he hits with his left hand, he hits with his left hand, oh my god, he fucking got him out. Oh shit! Air hockey's my shit. I don't know, man. I'm disgraced over that. But this is just me commentating the sudden death between those two. I don't think the bartender behind me appreciated it a lot, but it's... All right, so that pretty much wraps up my PAX video. I, I told you it was the worst video ever. Like, this is the most poorly documented thing I've ever seen. I swear, the cameraman in Cloverfield did a better job than I did, and his ass was all over the place. But I mean, it, it was my first convention. If anything, that's more of a testament to PAX itself. If it was a boring convention, I'd have been filming everything. But it was just so much fun. You just want to get up and do stuff. I just completely kept forgetting to film. Literally until Mango told me I was supposed to. <laughs> but yeah, so that sums that up. Alright, but now on to the other part of this video. The other, the more, the more important thing. Now, Captain America Civil War might not have come out for... Uh, for me, today's Thursday. It comes out Friday in America. But again, that could that, it could have already come out today or a day before, because I remember my buddy actually saw Star Wars Episode 7 like three days before it came out in a theater that was doing like pre-pre-showings or something. Like so, certain theaters get certain rights. But I haven't seen it yet, and I just want to make it clear to everybody that I am Team Captain, because a lot of people have been asking me, and I definitely urge you to put your team in the comment section so we can defi divide or grow together. I don't know, I don't know how this is going to go down, because I'm pretty strong Team Captain. I don't know... Team Iron Man fans, like, it's, 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 no, no, it's one of those things like console wars. It's funny to divide, but it really doesn't matter at the end. But, um, now, full disclosure, spoiler alert, huge spoiler alert, Captain America spoiler alert. It could be, now, I, I've never really read a lot of the comics, but I have a bunch of friends who do, and they said that, um, they said that in the comics, Captain America, seriously, spoiler alert, they said that in the comics, 
Captain America surrenders because he's just seeing all this destruction and death that's being caused by the war. And that's what happens. Now, it's, it's not really like Marvel or any of them to stick to exactly what's in the comics at all, so that could be completely different, but even knowing that Captain loses in the comics, by the way, I said spoiler like 20 times, you guys can get mad at me. Even knowing he loses in the comics, he's just, he's just so OG, dude. He's awesome. He's the best super soldier in human history. So yeah, I hope calling Team Captain doesn't divide us too much, actually, now that I think about it. We all are still friends here, we're still family in the Riot Brigade, but when it comes to this movie, this is where I stand. Let me know where you stand. I actually have a... I'm like one of the only friends I know is Team Captain too, funny enough. They think I'm like a hipster for picking him, but no, he's just... He's always been my favorite since those super old school Marvel games on like... What was that, like the old school PlayStation? Can't even remember. He's just always been my dude. I mean, for God's sakes, look how old this shirt is. This shit's like years old, man. Gotta stick to what you've always been a fan of. But um, but yeah, so that sums up the worst PAX video ever and my Team Cap vs. Iron Man something. If you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. I will be at all future PAX events, so I hope to see you guys there for sure. And have a nice day, guys. Peace!